Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Shane. I have another toy review. I have another Halo figure I'm going to display today. This is another old Joyride Halo figure. Matter of fact, this is a Halo 1 Combat Evolved uh, Marine, UNSC Marine. Now, a couple of things I am going to point out. Number one, I got this loose off a buddy of mine. Number two, I don't remember what weapons he would have came with. I would assume it have been like assault rifle, magnum, and, and a third weapon. In this case, I have him marred with the Halo 1 style shotgun. Now, a few things I will point out is that, as you can see from his armor configuration, as I said, he is the uh, original Halo style Marine. I mean, even if you look at his helmet, the way it's kind of angled, you know, got these kind of angles, it's more like, I guess you'd say, like, the replicating kind of like the graphics from the original Xbox, which I think is a nice little touch. Not only that, he does have his little heads-up display piece right in front of his right eye. He's got his little communication mic coming off, coming off his helmet. They decided to give him an oversized goatee for one reason or another. Oh well, I don't care. But they did, I think, two or three different styles of Marine for the original uh, Halo 1 figures. Now, first off, his articulation. Uh, he has no articulation whatsoever from the waist down. So his legs are already pre-positioned. Now, his arms, on the other hand, let me remove his shotgun first. His arms, on the other hand, they do bend up, down at the shoulder. They do bend up to about there, about where the shoulder armor will connect with right up here. He's got, now for his left arm right here, as you can see, he only bends back and forth right there at the elbow. But he does have full... Th you, can, you can actually rotate his hand a full 360 degrees. Uh, his, right, his right arm is kind of similar, only his arm points this way. And his hand is already pre-positioned to accept a weapon. You can see how his trigger fingers actually extended out a little bit to actually fit inside the... Uh, where the where his finger would go on any of his any of these weapons, but uh, he had, he can actually hold his weapons rather well. He does have waist movement. He does have like a little bit of head movement. So as you can see, he can actually shoulder his weapon reasonably well. There we go. Now that looks more intimidating. But these are for the most for the most part, I would label these as good display figures. I guess this is supposed to be like battle damage on his right shoulder his right shoulder armor right here. But overall, if you wouldn't give me my opinion, this to me is actually better than the UNSC Troopers, the UNSC Marines that they released for the Halo Reach line, and those are considerably more recent. I mean, you can at least position his arms to actually shoulder his weapon. You can't do, you can't do that with the UNSC Troopers or the UNSC Marines from the Halo Reach line. That, to me, is the only downside to those figures. But if you can find the uh, original UNSC Marines from the uh, Halo 1 line, I get them. But uh, that's just my take on the UNSC Marine by Joyride. You have a good day.